Hey guys, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the 10 common reasons for divorce. Um, it's not uncommon to ask yourself what the reasons for divorce are. You know, maybe you're in a relationship where you guys have been arguing all the time lately, or maybe you're not even having any words between you guys at all. You know, whatever the reason is, most likely sitting down with me in this video today, it's because you're not feeling that connection um, and maybe you've been feeling, you know, just the sense of disconnect over time or um, maybe even animosity towards your other half or um, indifference, you know, maybe not feeling anything at all. Oftentimes people feel numbness and they don't know what to do because it's really different than when they started their relationship with a lot of passion and energy and of course love, right? Um, so it is important to discuss what the reasons for divorce are because I think every couple is different and every couple has a different reason for splitting up. Um, but it does happen. You know, I do believe that not all relationships are meant to be together forever. For whatever reason, we get together when we get together with our significant other. And if it lasts forever and you're able to have that connection over time, over years, that's amazing and that's great. And that being said, that doesn't happen for everybody out there. You might have that intense connection for a while and over time that dissipates and then you get to a point in your relationship where it makes more sense to part ways and find somebody else depending on what you're going through in your life or whatever the reasons are. <clears throat> so let's discuss the top 10 reasons that I've noticed uh, why couples get divorced and see if any of these are relating to you and your situation. Reason number one, um, I'd say a very common reason for divorce is because of emotional abuse. Um, I do have another video that talks about the signs of emotional abuse that I would love you to go and look at if you're not sure if your relationship is um, going through emotional abuse or not. But basically, <clears throat> you know, your significant other being cruel to you emotionally or manipulative to you emotionally over time. Usually, usually people in relationships who are dealing with emotional abuse know that it, know that it's happening, but not everybody. And so, um, but emotional abuse for sure is a very common reason why relationships don't last and people end up splitting up. Uh, reason number two, uh, physical abuse. If your physical safety is compromised, and I've said this before in other videos, and I'm going to continue to say it again, if your physical um, safety is compromised, a relationship cannot be healthy. So you cannot be getting hurt, um, hit, slapped, pushed, punched, any of that. There's no way that you're going to be able to have that level of safety that you need in order for a relationship to thrive and be healthy in the long run. So physical abuse is a huge one. And if you're getting, um, you know, physically abused, there are, um, there are shelters that you can go to, there are domestic violence resources out there, national hotlines that you can call um, to help you get into a safe space. So that's reason number two, and that's pretty common uh, for people, that does happen. Um, reason number three is um, having a partner who's too controlling. You know, oftentimes when you feel that you're in this point where you cannot do anything um, unless your partner approves it and they are overseeing all aspects of your life um, and controlling you in this tight way, um, that can definitely lead to a disconnect over time with you and your significant other because you need to have trust in your relationship, right? So usually people who are too controlling don't trust their significant others to make decisions on their own and they try to tighten the leash, um, you know, for whatever reason. So having a partner who's too controlling can definitely uh, cause a lot of strain and tension in a relationship and make it unhealthy and make it um, break up in the long run. Uh, reason number four is addiction. Um, whether you have an addiction or your partner has an addiction, and I don't care what it is, uh, whether it's drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, um, you know, oftentimes that happens where um, infidelity happens because there's a sex addiction going on a lot. Uh, whatever the reason is, usually if untreated addiction is happening in a relationship, that can definitely be cause for um, couples to separate um, because it causes a really big strain and hurdle in the relationship. Uh, number five, untreated mental health issues. Uh, so whether you or your significant other is suffering from depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety, mania, um, you know, you name it, any type of a mental health disorder that is not being treated can also cause a huge strain in the relationship and have you guys be, you know, separated um, emotionally over time because um, it can cause a lot of strain and stress. 
Um, reason number six is mistreatment of children. Um, if you have kids and um, your other half is mistreating those kids, um, that can definitely be reason that um, couples get divorced. You know, oftentimes, you know, there's different parenting styles, right? You might think something is acceptable and appropriate, while your other half might have a totally different way of handling with it the discipline of the children but oftentimes that can create a lot of arguments within the couple if you know parents genuinely don't agree on how to discipline their children so um you can, so a lot oftentimes people feel that their other half is mistreating the children because they're doing things way differently than you would normally do it so that can cause a lot of arguments and kind of butting heads in the relationship um if one partner is mistreating the children and the other partner isn't essentially um Number seven, a reason for a divorce uh, that's really common is continued infidelity over time. If your significant other or you are cheating and you know it's come to light and you've talked about it, but then it happens again another time and then it happens again another time. You know, continued infidelity without repairing the relationship and without, you know, rebuilding that trust and that commitment to one another and you're constantly straying or someone in the relationship is constantly straying, um, that can definitely wear over time in the relationship and cause you guys to um, fall apart essentially. So continued infidelity. So I'm not just talking about a one-time deal, I'm talking about over and over and over again whether it's with the same person or various people. Um, if you're continuing to do that, um, or someone in the relationship is, that's definitely gonna cause a huge strain in the relationship that could lead to divorce. Uh, reason number eight, a lack of connection. Um, you know, if you guys aren't talking on an intimate level, if you guys aren't, you know, running things off of each other in terms of ideas and getting each other's opinions, and you're not, you know, asking about each other's day and really caring about what each other are doing in their lives, um, you know, having that lack of connection can really cause you guys to feel emotionally distanced with one another and fall out of love eventually. So that's a really common one when you guys just aren't connecting and you're not spending that one on one time with each other, um, you know, creating that emotional intimacy and that physical intimacy that you guys need. Um, reason number nine is financial stress. This is definitely a common one. You know, if you guys are struggling financially, having trouble paying those, you know, necessary bills every month. And that could be really, really hard. And I get it. Financial stress can definitely strain a marriage and strain a relationship for sure. Um, so that's a common one. Um, that's not necessarily anybody's fault, um, you know, because it's hard to live these days. Things are expensive. And I don't feel that people always, um, especially the working class people out there, you know, always get paid adequately what they need in order to thrive and survive. So financial stress is a big one and a big hurdle that couples go through. Uh, last but not least, um, a constant arguing in a, in a relationship or a lack of communication, healthy communication, I should say. So if you're constantly arguing with each other, you're fighting, you're butting heads, you're just not communicating in a healthy way, that can become really toxic and eventually you're gonna not even wanna interact with your significant other because it's always going to result in some type of a fight or an argument. Um, so that can be a huge reason why people start to distance with one another because they don't even wanna deal with interacting with each other. And if you get to that point, that's definitely, um, you know, an unhealthy dynamic and aspect and a place that you want to be in. So if you're experiencing any of these one through 10 items that I mentioned for reasons for divorce, it's time to seek help now. You don't want to continue having these reasons and having these reasons left unacknowledged and untreated in your relationship. So you got to start working on these now. Um, if you have been working on it, you know, whether it's through um, therapy or, you know, self-help books that you guys have been reading or actively working on it together to address these issues, whatever the reason is. Um, and if it's not working, then oftentimes people are kind of figuring out, okay, where do we go from here? We've tried everything. You know, maybe it is best to separate. And that's a conversation that you and your significant other need to make together um, and need to decide for yourselves. Of course, I'm happy to help. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you liked the, this video and found it helpful, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube page, please. If you haven't already, you'll get up a notification and a pop-up every time I make a new helpful relationship video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Kristen from kristencoaching.com and I'll see you guys next time.